doesn't look right. That makes more sense. Why am I so bad at this? Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings or spellings. When I first started writing, I used the wrong word all the time, which in turn really confused my editor when he thought a sentence meant one thing when it was intended to mean something else entirely. So today you can learn from my mistakes and save an editor's sanity. Here are 40 homophones. Ale and ale. Ale as in six and ale as in beer. Arc and arc. Arc as in a story arc, or a curved line. And arc as in ship. Waste and waste. You measure your waste, but waste is garbage, or something extravagantly used. Aisle and aisle. The first is a row between seats or shelves, and the second is an island. Air and air. The first is what we breathe, and the second is someone who stands to inherit property or rank from a predecessor. Bard and bard. A bard is a poet, storyteller, or music composer, while bard means to close and secure like using a chair to lock siblings out of your room. Bail and bail. Bail is what you pay to get your friend out of jail, while bail is a bundle of hay. Bait and bait. You use bait to catch fish, while to bait means to restrain or reduce the force and intensity of something, like the cliché of waiting with bated breath. Baron and baron. The first is a class of nobility, and the second means you can't produce offspring. Ascent and ascent. Ascent is to climb or rise, while ascent is to agree. Board and board. Bored as in a piece of wood, and bored as in there's nothing you want to do. Shoot and shoot. A shoot is a slide or channel, while to shoot is to fire a weapon. Braid and braid. You can braid your hair, while braid is the sound a donkey makes. Bridle and bridle. The first has to do with weddings, and the second is a piece of tack that goes on a horse's head. Tide and tide. One is the rising and falling of the sea, and the other has to do with knots. Callous and callous. A callus is thickened skin caused by friction, while callus is to be insensitive or cruel to others. Birth and birth. A birth is a place for ships to dock, while birth is what brought you into this world. Corral and corral. The first is a group of singers, and the second is a typically circular pin used to contain animals. Duel and duel. Duel as in two, or dual wielding, and duel as in a sometimes deadly contest with weapons. Current and current. Current as in current events, and current as in the fruit. Flare and flare. The first is style, and the second is a sudden burst of light. Foul and foul. Foul as in birds, and foul as in offensive or unpleasant. Leak and leak. A leak is an accidental loss of fluids, while a leak is a type of plant. Loan and loan. A loan is to borrow something, while loan is to be without companions. Loot and loot. Loot is goods or wealth you took from another person. Hello, pirates and gamers. While a loot is an instrument. Um, that's not a lute. That's a violin. Hail and hail. The first is pellets of frozen rain, or to get someone's attention, and the second means healthy. Pour and pour. The first is a minute opening in your skin, and the second is to pour yourself a drink. Peer and peer. To peer is to look, but a peer is built on the water. Peel and peel. Peel is what you do to your vegetables, while peel is a loud and repeating sound, like bells. Pail and pail. The first is a bucket and the second is to have little color. Pray and pray. You fold your hands to pray, but you don't want to be someone's prey. Wait a minute, there's an adorable chubby creature being kidnapped in this photo. Which one of you chose these? Profit and profit. One is what your earnings are, and the other is an inspired teacher. Rain, rain, and rain. The first is that thing that falls from the sky and gets you wet. The second is to control a horse by means of the reins. And the third is what kings do. Rung and rung. A rung is the horizontal bar on a ladder that you step on, while rung is the past tense of wringing out a dish rag. Shear and shear. To shear is to cut, like shearing a sheep, and shear describes fabric you can see through. Tear and tear. A tear drips down your face, while a tear is something multi-leveled. Soar and soar. The first is to fly, and the second is how you feel the day after a workout. Taught and taught. You were taught in school, but when something is taught, it is stretched or pulled tight. Veil and veil. The first is a valley, while the second covers your face. Rest and rest. To rest is to take a nap, but to rest is to forcibly pull something away from someone else. 
Now you're equipped with 40 different homophones and prepared to save an editor's sanity. But remember to stay alert. Homophones surround you.